بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome, I'm Badr Din Muhammad, and you're watching the English news program of Somaliland National Television. These are the main stories making headlines. Somaliland first president opens a ceremony to commemorate Horn of Africa Regional Environment. Somaliland ministers for presidency, reconciliation, and presidential spokesman assume office. Members of the cabinet ministry conferred with UK delegations. Somaliland Vice President, His Excellency Abdurrahman Abdullah Ismail Saleh, accompanied by members of cabinet ministers, inaugurated on Wednesday an event to mark Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network. This is meant to tap into environmental knowledge in the region that is not currently being utilized to its full potential. Somaliland Vice President, His Excellency Abdurrahman Abdullah Ismail Saleh, flanked by members of the cabinet ministers, inaugurated an event to mark the Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network. This is meant to tap into environmental knowledge in the region that is not currently being utilized to its full potential. Dr. Muawiye, who is the chairman of the Horn of Africa Regional Environment Center, has at first expressed happiness for holding this year conference in Somaliland. He stated that the plan of the Horn of Africa Regional Environment Center in this year is to focus on eliminating environmental devastation that's commonly accustomed by members of the community residing in rural and urban areas for minor pinnivids. Minister of Environment and Rural Development to Shukri Haji Ismail Bandre is speaking on the occasion has on her part discussed the significance of fighting against the environmental devastation and pledged likewise to help support all mechanisms that can develop environment. She conclusively welcomed the Vice President His Excellency Abdurrahman Abdullah Ismail Saleh to take the floor in order to deliver his keynote speech. The Vice President discussed about the significance of strictly working on improving environmental development where he has shown an excitement for holding the conference of this year in Somaliland. The Vice President showed commitment representing the voice of the government in supporting the center all they can to ensure environmental protection. The new Minister for Presidential Affairs, Mahmoud Hashi Abdi, on Wednesday has assumed office from the outgoing Minister for Presidential, Hersi Ali Haji Hassan, in a well-organized ceremony held in the Presidential compound. New Minister of Reconciliation for Eastern Regions and the new Presidential spokesman took office as well. The former Minister of Presidential Affairs, Hersi Ali Haji Hassan, handed over the responsibility of of the ministry to the newly appointed Minister of Presidency Mahmoud Hashi Abdi. The responsibility transfer ceremony was held at the Presidential Palace of Somaliland and participated by members of cabinet ministers, members of parliament and other distinguished guests. The State Minister for Presidency Mohammed Musa Abbas spoke first in the ceremony while he welcomed the new minister and farewell the former minister. He also spoke about capacity of the Ministry of Presidential Affairs and its duties. The former Minister of Presidential Affairs, Hersi Ali Haji Hassan, also spoke in the ceremony to elaborate the achievements of the Ministry of Presidency during his time in office. Hersi Ali Haji Hassan explained the different stages that the Ministry of Presidential Affairs has taken. He also thanked the President of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohammed Mahmoud, for his collaboration with him. The former minister, Hersi Ali Haji Hassan, also thanked to his former ministerial staffs. He also spoke about the developmental steps taken by the Somaliland Road Authority Agency. 
The newly appointed Minister of the Ministry of Presidential Affairs, Mahmoud Hashi Abdi, spoke at the event while he reiterated that the former minister has made important achievements for the Ministry of Presidential Affairs. He also thanked the former minister. Former President Spokesman Ahmed Suleiman Duhul, the former State Minister of Reconciliation for Eastern Regions, Ali Sandule, who both officially transferred the responsibility of their institutions have has spoken have spoken at the event while they explained the importance of unity and collaboration the new state minister of reconciliation for the eastern region is and the new presidential spokesman hussein adam ege also spoke in the ceremony while they pledged to continue the developmental steps the manager of Somaliland Road Authority Agency also spoke at the event while he described the former achievements and the ongoing developmental activities of Somaliland Road Authority Agency and also he provided a report about Buro Erigavo Road Construction Project. On the conclusion, the Somaliland Minister of Information, Abdullahi Muhammad Dahir Akuse, spoke in the ceremony and acknowledged the achievements of the two ministers. Members of Somaliland cabinet ministers, including Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Saad Ali Shira, Minister of Interior Affairs, Mr. Ali Mohamed Quran Adde, Minister of Presidency, Mr. Mahmoud Hashi Abdi, and President are Pfizer for elections, had meeting with high official delegates from UK government and Danida. Members of Somaliland cabinet ministers, including Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Saad Ali Shire, Minister of Interior Affairs, Mr. Ali Mohamed Warren Ade, and Minister of Presidency, Mr. Mahmoud Hashi, and the elections advisor for the President of Somaliland had a meeting with high official delegates from UK government and the middle. After the conclusion of the meeting, the Minister of Interior, Mr. Ali Mohamed Warren Ade, briefed the press on the issues discussed. He stated that the meeting focused on preparing facilities to ensure presidential and parliamentary election is held in Somaliland in 2017. The minister added that the government of UK and the Miro have reaffirmed their commitment to support Somaliland government. Audel regional governor who held press conference at his office notifies people living nearby Bulaha and Lughaya to show safety measures for heavy storms that are reported in those areas. Audal Regional Governor is speaking to the press informs to people living near by the shores of Bulahar and Lukhaya in the northwest of Somaliland to show alert in storms and heavy winds that are reported in these areas. The governor stated that people living nearby the shores could have been affected by the heavy storms accompanied by winds and rains if not much caution is paid. The governor urged members of the government officials held in charge in these districts to work on informing people to step away from shores and rivers which are unsafe during these occasions. That's all the news we have for you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.